Happy Friday morning, Mountaineer fans. It's Chris. It's Mike. It's earsports.com taking up three minutes of your morning to talk about football. Mike, I got a question for you. I didn't get in the mailbag, so I'm going to ask it right here. If you could pick one player on the football team, two if you feel the need to, who is going to be a breakout returner from last year's squad? Couple parameters. Cannot be a transfer, cannot be a newcomer from high school, cannot be a player that who was already a guy, if you will. My example from this last uh, season would be Hudson Clement. So who would be your guy this time around? All right, let me go off the board for a second here. Um, I like everything we hear about Trotter, the middle linebacker. I think we're a little bit guilty of making him like 20% better than he was because he didn't play, but he was going to play before he got hurt. Don't forget Montre Miller trying to get that extra year. That could be a cornerback, a veteran they can use. And I just like pouring snaps into Tyron Bradley at Spear, excuse me, Bandit, and see how he goes. I'm going to go to the other side of the ball. I'm going to pick Rodney Gallagher. Not very exotic, but I just think of the way they used him at the end of the season. They got the ball to him, handed it to him. They threw short stuff to him. He's going to grow as a receiver and be able to go more vertical. And then I don't think they'll use him as a wildcat. But the fact that Brown said he's so good with the ball in his hands that he can do the wildcat and things like that once he gets a little thicker because he did all that in high school, that's his background. That indicates to me that that's part of his future too. Not a wildcat quarterback, but somebody who can do a whole bunch of stuff as a moving chess piece. The offense is better when you can't figure out where the weapons are, and he's certainly a weapon. I'm with you. Some really good picks there. I like the Gallagher one. I like the Bradley one. You even saw me mm, because that's where I was leaning towards. Those guys who – Kind of had a role, but could really take on a big one. You saw why Bradley could be special at the end of the year. How about Jacoby Spells? Is this finally the year? Is this the time when he kind of steps in? I know they brought in these transfers, but think about think back to the beginning of last season. Even with all the transfers coming in, Andrew Wilson Lamp got first crack. Those returning younger guys are going to get first crack. I think they're going to give Spells an opportunity to hold on to a starting job. He doesn't have it yet, but I think he'll get the opportunity to have it first before the new guys. And I think with a couple years under his belt in the weight room and learning the system, now that talent can can progress and he can be that guy. 